Hello, good morning, and how are you today? I want to talk to you today about three key elements that you need to have in place to have success on social media. And they're really basic, but they're often overlooked. So we want to go over that because it's really important to have these three foundation elements set up. And so welcome, good morning. It is early Monday morning, a holiday Monday in British Columbia, Canada. So I hope you're having a wonderful weekend. And if you're joining me live, please say hello. Tell me where you're coming from. And if you're on the replay, then let me know it's replay and I'll catch up with you later. And if we have not met before, my name is Olive Dodd and I'm here on my business page to help you bring your business online using social media strategies the modern way. We don't want to chase our family and friends or spam our products. We want to uh, do things the modern way and attract people to us rather than repelling them. So welcome. And so today is a uh, holiday Monday. And so I hope you're having a great weekend and it's a beautiful day today in British Columbia. We have a bit of a heat wave coming up in the high 30s. So enjoy the weather and the summer sunshine. So the important basic things. And so if these things are not clear, um, then it can be really confusing for your audience and uh, it, it can limit your potential because they're not clear as to what you are about and what your branding is and who you are. And so the first one is your profile picture. Now, uh, it should be a nice clear picture of yourself, but some people may have, you know, an animal, their pet or an object or maybe a graphic. And these can be really beautiful pictures, but it doesn't say who you are. And if you're a real person, have you ever gotten a friend request from someone and then you go and you not sure who this person is. So you check out their profile and you can't tell from the picture who they are because it's a graphic or a picture of their their cat or their dog or something like that and so you have to keep going searching so you want that first impression to be of who you are because your profile picture also shows up beside any of your comments so then that's your identifier so you want it to be you know a picture of you so if you're going and looking at this friend request it works the same in reverse because as you're presenting yourself online, then that's who people, that's the first image they see of you as your comment or when they come to check you out. So you want your profile picture um, to be, you know, something that's very clear, you know, some hopefully a nice happy face, you know, uh, showing who you are. So there's no question. Um, yeah, I'm just checking my notes because I don't want to miss anything. So I have a couple of notes here. So I'm just uh, checking to see if I've uh, missed anything on uh, this topic. So that's it. So the first one is your profile picture. And then the second one is uh, the name of your, uh, your profile, especially if you have a business name. Um, so sometimes it might be different from your your real name like you might have um, you know a business coach or, or something like that and so you want to make sure that you have a welcome video or something saying who you are to introduce yourself so the name is really key too because the first thing people see if you comment on things is your profile picture and then the name of who you are so that has to reflect that you're a real person um, you know often the you can get some pretty strange uh, friend requests or messages and you just don't know who this person is so you want that to be very clear as to who you are and then next is good content so when again going back to the friend request and people not aren't sure who you are they're going to check you out and they're going to go to your uh, personal profile um, it's just the first, it's a natural thing to do. Um, you know, if I get a friend request, then I want to find out who this person is 
And same with the business, you know, they're going to, okay, who is this person beyond um, their business representation? You know, what kind of lifestyle do they have, you know, and do you relate to that? Um, you know, is it a real person? And that's needed for the trust element. You know, who are you as a person? So, you know, in your content, you know, is it all shared content? Are you just, you know, bringing in information from other people? Or are you actually doing, you know, your own uh, content, you know, your own posts, your own lives, and that kind of thing. And so that reflects, you know, who you are. So if you're doing your own information, you want it to be inspiring, you want it to teach, to be motivational, uh, to be valuable to your audience. Um, yeah, and then also the, the name on your Facebook page is, you know, if you have a business page, you know, it's the same thing. So you can change your name and you just, if you're on a business page and you feel that your business name isn't reflective of who you are or, you know, very explanatory, you can still change it. And that's just a matter of going into uh, the settings in the about uh, tab and you can change your name. But just a little tip on that, uh, you can only change your name once every 60 days and I found that it can't be too different if it's um, totally, you know, a change in uh, topic or a change in subject matter and that kind of thing. Facebook won't allow it. So um, make your changes quite gradually. Um, because like say if you go from weight loss to um, health products or something totally different then uh, Facebook will say that it is not the same um, subject matter and that your audience will be confused or something like that. So if it's uh, totally different then uh, Facebook won't allow it. But if you make gradual changes then you can but it, you can only do it every 60 days. So uh, yes, yeah, so don't overlook your uh, personal profile. Uh, you can really limit your potential, you know, if you don't have both going. So if you have a business page, also look after your personal profile, you know, and, and also add stories to that. Stories is a great way to show who you are. Just very micro content, you know, if you're out and about, you know, show a little bit about yourself and what you're doing. And also the stories on a business page um, get more um, priority or more organic reach than they do on your personal profile. So that's really interesting. So um, yeah, so don't forget to do stories also on your business uh, page. And then stand out from the crowd. You know, what makes you unique? Uh, you know, what makes you a little bit different? Uh, it's okay to be yourself, to make mistakes. Um, you know, if you have children in the background or people coming in and out, that's fine. That's life. You know, don't uh, try to be perfect because um, people can't relate to anyone who's perfect. You know, they can relate to people that stuff up because we all stuff up. We're all human. So be real and be human, you know, and just let life happen. So those are my tips for today. Uh, very basic, but important. So have a good profile picture, have a good name on your business page and uh, your personal profile, and then also have good content, um, you know, and be there, um, be consistent with your content. And so I'm going to wrap it up with that today and so I hope you have found some value if you have let me know and if you have other things that you'd like to know on how to build your business then uh, please uh, feel free to let me know about that too so if you'd like to know when I'm going live uh, you can tap the three dots at the very top and uh, just uh, click on that and you'll get notifications for when I'm going live and it's usually Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays in the morning around 9 a.m. So British Columbia time, uh, that specific time. 
All right, so I hope you have a wonderful holiday weekend and uh, look after yourself, take care and be healthy and happy. Okay, bye for now.